due to the number of innovatives initiatives put in place by my government there has been noteworthy improvement on the health and nutrition related indicators under goal 3 of the sustainable development indicator now about farmers a backbone of andhra pradesh with about 62% of the population still depending on agriculture and allied sectors the gsdp contribution from this sector is as i has 36% compared to 18% at the national level my government has been supporting the farmers in every possible way to lift them from distress and make farming profitable my government is extending ysr raitu bharosa pm kisan assistance of rupees 13500 per year not only to the farmers cultivating their own lands but also to eligible sc st bc minority tenant farmers and farmers cultivating rofr forest and endowment lands my government has disbursed so far rupees 33300 crores to 53.53 lakh farmers under the scheme till date our government has established 10778 dr ysr raitu bharosa kendralu which have effectively evolved as one stop centers to meet farmers needs right from supply of seed to sale of crop in their village itself the, the government is arranging supply of pre certified quality inputs to the farmers through rb case rb case are designated as procurement centers and are providing minimum support price to the farmers banking services are provided at rb case through business correspondence of major banks andhra pradesh is the only state in india to implement universal free crop insurance where the farmer share of premium is paid by the state government on behalf of the farmers for all crops notified under this scheme so far government has settled claims of rupees 54.75 lakh farmers worth rupees 7802.5 crores an amount of rupees 1835 crores of interest subvention was credited directly into the accounts of 73.88 lakh small and marginal farmers who availed crop loans of rupees 1 lakh and repaid with the stipulated time under ysr sunnavaddi pantarunalu my government is providing immediate relief to the farmers by dispersing compensation for crop loss by the end of the same season itself during which losses occurred due to natural calamities rupees 1977 crores of input subsidy was credited into 22.85 lakh farmers accounts till date for the damage of agriculture and horticulture crops due to natural calamities through a unique initiative my government is taking up digital recording of area sown in all the crop holdings of the farmers through e crop booking for implementation of various farmer welfare programs mentioned above to ensure msp to the farmers paddy is procured through rbk at farm gate without the involvement of middlemen the gunny usage charges labor and transport cost as fixed by the government are being paid to the farmers along with paddy costs so far 3.34 crores mts of paddy worth rupees 63827 crores has was purchased ensuring timely msp to 36 lakhs 59615 farmers over and above this apart from the crops covered under msc msp my government is providing remunerative price for the other crops and has provided rupees 7751 crore for procurement of those crops my government acted upon swiftly to mitigate human loss and property loss to handle the recent michong cyclone that has hit the coastal andhra pradesh affecting the crops and infrastructure the government 
besides providing relief assistance and special scale of assistance at the time of the cyclone to the affected people has released an amount of rupees 347.55 crores for immediate restoration of the damaged infrastructure. The crop damage has been assessed and input subsidy to the farmers whose crop got damaged is in process. The government has identified horticulture sector as one of the growth engines that drives agricultural economy, increasing the production, productivity and quality of various horticulture crops coupled with value chain development and marketing linkages for better price realization are some of the key strategies intended to help in increasing net returns. An area of 5,83,240 hectares has been brought under horticultural crops in the last four years, duly diversifying the crops by replacing less remunerative crops like upland paddy, tobacco, sugarcane, casuarina, eucalyptus, etc. Andhra Pradesh is the first state to announce MSC for, for horticulture crops, that is banana, turmeric, onion, sweet orange, chilies, over and above the coverage of GOI.